lightning bolt. And I'm going to put the dyno into the dyno run mode here. And let's do our pool. And let's see what this is going to make. Let's go here to record. So taking a look at the dyno screen, we can see we're here at 166 uh, pound-feet of torque, 167, and 168 horsepower. And what we can find here on the top end of the table is that our torque here is dropping off. So specifically, um, looking here right around 5,500, 5,000, we can see the blue line. That's going to be our 20 degree. We can see that the green line was our 10, and our red line was our 0. So we're losing power. Now, if we're going to be backing this up and kind of taking a look at this on our uh, overlay here, if we didn't have a chassis dyno, we can see that it's getting rich. And that's going to be telling me that uh, much above here, about 5,000, that going up to 20 degrees is actually not going to be something I want to do. It's going to be losing too much power. So it's going to be showing me the cause and effect just in the fuel delivery alone, but obviously using a virtual dyno or a chassis dyno is, is nice to be able to reference that. Now looking at the rest of the power band, um, our torque is pretty much spot on to what we see here um, between the green and the blue. Very, very minimal differences here, up to about 5,000 and obviously it loses, but it's not losing, it's slightly gaining over the green. Uh, but again, not very, very much, very, very minor differences. Um, so looking at this, we can't really evaluate or kind of take a look at this. We might say that um, in this range, it doesn't really need a whole lot of difference in fuel. And the power may be pretty much the same or, or very, very, very minimal. Um, obviously right here, we probably want to go lean this out. Let's do 2%. Let's do 2% right here. Let's go here and do 2%, to add 2%. Add 2% right here. So very, very small changes. We're just kind of updating it. Um, it looks pretty good so far. We're also going to jump on the top here and we're going to reduce this. So let's go here, control J, let's do two, let's do three percent, and let's go up here and do let's do five percent. So we've simply bumped that down and then we'll just blend this back into the rest of our table here. We'll just bump our values down. So very, very simple. Um, but the top end of the table will give me a very clear indication that I'm losing power. And we can see really drastic differences of 5 6%, 8%, 10% fuel. That's going to be a clear indication that we're probably losing. If we're seeing 1%, 2%, that's a very min minimal difference, and it's going to be kind of hard to say as you're, as you're evaluating that. Uh, what you'd probably want to pay attention to is what the injector pulse width is doing. So if we actually jump into our graph here, and we're looking across here in our overlay, we could actually see... Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.